Horses, cows, and cowboys, they've been a way of life in Texas since, well, the very beginning. Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Metters. Welcome to America's Horse. Every year the American Quarter Horse Association teams up with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association to name a Best Remuda Award recipient. This year, the honor goes to the R.A. Brown Ranch in Throckmorton, Texas. The Browns have been raising top-of-the-line horses and cattle since 1895. No doubt, they are very deserving winners. Throckmorton, Texas is a sleepy town just an hour north of Abilene. One blinking red light helps direct traffic for the 1,900 people who call this home. Several miles to the west, you'll find the R.A. Brown Ranch, a mini community in its own right, 84,000 acres and some 1,900 head of cattle provide work and food for five Brown families. I guess what makes this ranch unique and special is uh, that we're a family business and have been since 1895. Uh, we work together, all of us involved in, in the family business, and uh, plan to keep it that way for quite some time, for as long as we can. R.A. Rob Brown, Jr. is the captain of the ship. He's a very busy man. He's been president of the American Quarter Horse Association and very involved with the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Plus, he is currently the chairman of the Texas Animal Health Commission, appointed directly by Governor George W. Bush. He's kept his finger on the pulse of the industry. His experience and his competitive nature have added a lot to the family business. Well, it's our nature, uh, whether it's our horses or our cows or our bird dogs or what, we, we think we want to breed the best we can breed. And of course, we're breeding for what we think is a specialty is the ranch horse. And it's the homebred ranch horses that have earned the Brown Ranch the Best Bermuda Award. 50 geldings, 40 brood mares, and five stallions, all chiseled right out of the foundation bloodlines of the American Quarter Horse Association itself, graze on this land. They still pasture breed with a success rate of more than 90%. And when these babies hit the ground, they are a product of breeding that has stood the test of time and the West Texas climate. You get a horse that, uh... I guess like all of us, it's kind of a modern term of specializing, but as they've specialized with different kinds of quarter horses over time, I guess we've kind of specialized in what we call the, the, what we want in a ranch horse. And he's, he's got to have enough stamina and, and heart to, to be ridden all day long, got to have some real good feet and legs under him, and some bone, and, and we, you know, May ride a horse 30 or 40 miles a day and not change horses at noon, and, and he, he's got to be pretty tough. To me, our ranch horses are horses that are big, stout, and durable. The horses that you can ride every day of the week and ride lots of miles, and the horses just stand up and, and continue to do the job they're supposed to do day after day. And if you think they're satisfied with the status quo, think again. Their latest stallion is taking their breed of ranch horse to a new level. We think we may have one of the best young studs we've ever had in, in, in the history of the ranch. But uh, we've got a young stud called He's an Eddie Hancock that's old-fashioned bred. And, uh, you know, Joe Hancock and Eddie and Blue Rock and Hollywood Gold lines. It's a beautiful gray horse that, uh, putting a super head and neck on them, but just wonderful minds and really easy way of going and, and uh, lots of cow sense. And, well, he's the oldest goals for three now, and it, it's really fun to be riding these and seeing what they can do, but uh, it's, uh, there's nothing else like it. Horse quality may be directly related with employee loyalty on this ranch. The Browns use a very unique cowboy bonus plan. A cowboy has got a lot of pride in his horse and what he can do horseback, and, and we give our cowboys 25% uh, in the refusal of the sale of any of their mounts. And so a lot of our boys, or particularly our boys that are really good horsemen, uh, get those horses up five, six, seven, eight years old, and, uh, and, and I can sell them at a very nice price, and, and they get their 25%, and they're bringing another young one along, and, and it's a good system for the ranch and for the cowboys for a bonus system for them as well. R.A. Brown horses have received their share of accolades from the working cowboy and from the AQHA judges in the arena. But this Best Remuda Award will occupy a shelf all its own in the trophy room. 
it was definitely an honor uh, to be selected as, as winner of the Ramuda Award. Uh, to know that nationally uh, our horse program is recognized as one of the top in the country for producing horses that uh, what the cowboy needs. And, and to us that's quite an honor when uh, the people of the horse industry give that award to us. I think it was real smart of, of the AQHA to develop this award and, and it means a great deal of the racing industry and, and, and I know all of the people that have won it before us and, and everybody is it, it's just a, as fine an award as there is in the horse business to us. But the Brown Ranch isn't just about winning awards it's about family and a way of life that may be one of the best kept secrets today. It's a it's a wonderful way of living and I guess as Elmer Kelton said it best the ranching never has and probably never will be a, a great living, but it sure is a great life.